to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. So you came as a whole family. Apostle, we don't even know what the, we don't know what is wrong with us. We just know that things are not working. Welcome. You are in the right place. You are in the right place. So when that word is sent, the word of God comes and starts looking at your entire family. And with digital precision, okay, failure, disfavor, yokes, immediately, in seconds, it diagnoses it. But it does not stop there. It will start creating the conditions that makes those yokes and those causes to go. And the impact is so powerful. I am talking here and yet it will throw you physically on the ground. I didn't push you up. I'm here talking and something is happening in the realm of the spirit. And it comes like a plane landing on your destiny. Listen, I'm not just entertaining you. We are going to pray. But beloved people, listen. The supernatural is real. Conditions can change. Let me repeat myself. Conditions can change. When people reject you, they are not rejecting you. There is a condition you are carrying that makes them reject you. When you are failing and fa he fails. Man of God, you may be in ministry no increase no results respectfully speaking there may be a condition but when god speaks he said let there be and there was he said let it change that's why you see people return with all kinds of testimonies you think joshua selman in his power and strength is able to do this no 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 but i know this mighty god not only because he appeared to me i know when jesus appeared to me i did not open the door for him to enter i don't even know how he entered the door is just for you he entered anyhow don't ask how it will he will enter your body no the doctors will say lie down and they will have to go through that incision and now begin to meticulously help you but the holy ghost oh come on please 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 when i ask you to lay your hands it's only a point of contact to help you not help god ask the holy ghost how he entered the womb of mary he did not appear as bread and said eat and it's me no no ask the holy ghost how he entered back into jesus to resurrect him back to life are you getting what i'm saying now now hear me please everyone i want you to look at the condition you have now because that is really what we have come to deal with we, you call it sickness you call it delay you call it failure you call it confusion god calls it conditions Abuja is a good land. Your territory is a good land. But it does not mean you will just be blessed like that. There is a condition. You can work for 30 years under the same condition you will have the same outcome. What does it mean to encounter God? It means to have an encounter that changes your conditions. Please find a way of believing what I am telling you. 
so you are sick apostle right now there is a situation i'm having hiv i'm having this you are right you are only describing a condition but watch the wonder walking power not the word of a man not the word of a monarch not the word of a the military the word of god when it was time for jesus to resurrect the dead he said lazarus if he just said come forth that would be rapture immediately because his power is sufficient to raise every dead body he had to mention the specific person because that word was going to enter the realm of the spirit so when the word entered the realm of the spirit who is lazarus here you are the one come out i was sent to bring you out The powerful thing about faith is that faith can make you claim any name so if God speaks now and says so 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 person faith can tell you is your name too and it's your condition and God will honor it because what he says to one he says to all so you don't just sit down praying that you should call your name Lord just speak that's all I want let me hear what you are saying and let it dare relate to my situation i will not let that word pass me by listen when the word of god comes because i'm about to pray for you now you have a responsibility number one do not just think it is a man talking no no i am only the voice echoing that word that word is coming from the throne with fire with power with grace i may not know your conditions how do i stand here as a man and now begin to call your name and your conditions it does not make sense humanly it doesn't make sense scientifically but when the holy ghost takes over you see so as healings and deliverances and all kinds of supernatural manifestations of the spirit come number one don't be distracted you must be focused God is walking in the midst of his people whether you are in any of the overflows down to the basement you are outside you are following online anywhere at all it does not matter we are talking Jesus here Benny Hinn calls the Holy Spirit the unlimited presence of Jesus I believe in miracles I believe that a condition you came with you actually can leave it there yes so when prayers are going on don't just be looking at other people if you are sick in your body you must believe that I'm ready to be healed you have some lump some growth don't sit down and say how will it disappear I've taught you it's just an interplay of energy and matter it is true some terminal disease hiv whatever blood condition maybe genotype whatever it is don't say god cannot heal you you're here you have all kinds of bone conditions don't sit back and say look at the size of my bone can i walk brothers and sisters we are talking the lord jesus christ here exalted as both lord and christ how about impartations some of you are in their need of many graces graces that create new conditions you cannot be walking in a territory and everybody is looking at you as if you're a piece of rag it means there is a condition that is responsible for that mockery and that shame and i'm telling you in the presence of god that condition can change when you say it's my background what you are simply saying is there is a condition god can give you another condition There is a sweet anointing in the sanctuary. There is a stillness in the atmosphere. Oh, come lay down the burdens. For in the sanctuary, God. 
so as a normal human being you can hug you can shake you can greet but when Jesus comes you will be amazed the same words you were hearing from morning now does not become the words of a man again when these words begin to come please listen to me I want you to just imagine light coming from the throne to your life and what is it doing changing conditions changing conditions and you check yourself and find out just like a dream is gone just like a dream and there are certain conditions that you may not be able to verify physically because they don't come with pain but you believe at the instance of God's word the power of God is touching that woman on purple help that woman I'm seeing like oil being poured on her oh madam your life is about to change in a way that will surprise you Jesus the son of God please pray strings for me Take it listen I used to watch this years ago in the meetings of Catherine Kuhlman T.L. Osborne and I would see these people would just come with childlike faith Reinhard Bonke and when they would teach they would tell you that Jesus is here and you would think it's a joke within minutes brothers and sisters you will see all kinds of miracles and I said God there has to be an explanation to this just like that and then I learned that it is not just like that when the anointing comes when you are frying palm oil in the kitchen women look up please you know what happens to that kitchen as soon as fire what happens sometimes the condition can be so harsh it does not speak to you but it will make you run out of that kitchen so if you are a demon for instance when the fire is applied and that kitchen is you there is something that that fire is able to do and it will make what was there help them to leave you see how deliverance happens yes just because a word is spoken be free be delivered no no it's not just a word speaking there there are innumerable company of angels the power of God moving from place to place what is the assignment to find out what is not consistent with the character of the Christ we have called this a miracle service and the Bible says everything Adam called it that was the name thereof when Jesus appeared to me and stretched his hands towards me I'm telling you I know the light entered me whether it entered through my head whether it entered through my chest I don't know don't ask how the power of God will get into your body <laughs> the power of God is not a needle the power of God is not a tube that is passed through you it can come in and begin to correct things and that when it's time to testify you will find yourself running to come and stand and say Jesus this really happened how about conditions in your office how about conditions in your bank account how about conditions in your your life your family apostle we have tried and tried to build for seven years this house has refused to be completed I tell you there is a condition making that happen by the time God releases something upon you remember all blessings come from God I've taught you through man to man that is the dynamics like you hear people testify someone calls you even while service is going on and says where are you I don't know why I just feel like blessing you now you understand a condition reproach is a condition infirmity is a condition spirits merely enforce conditions that is the assignment in a human body or in an environment to enforce conditions conditions that create outcomes that negate the speakings of the word a miracle service therefore 
is a platform that allows the word of God in partnership with his power to move in the midst of his people and begin to correct conditions. Correction that can be scientifically proven, spiritual in origin. Miracles are platforms where both science and faith agree. Let me repeat myself. Miracles are platforms where both faith and science agree. Faith says be healed. Science confirms that it happened to you. Faith says be delivered. Science confirms that it happens. Every true miracle must have a scientific expression because they are the two platforms that explain man and the occurrences in our cosmos. Faith takes care of the realm of the spirit and the supernatural. Science gives interpretation and meaning to what happens in our physical environment. None of them is anti-God in itself. It starts from the realm of the spirit, light, be, and it manifests physically as light. So the healing starts from the realm of the spirit and physically. Your life and your destiny, your children, physically, like the dear ones who shared their testimony here. Can you imagine that? One word just comes by the spirit. And dear people of God, look at this. One word to a politician, may God shift you and it will look like just a word until you see the forces that fought you begin to come and you will know that a condition has changed. How about a businessman? You're trying to do everything you know to do, but there is a condition that authorizes both men and spirits to fight you. My assignment tonight is to walk in partnership with the ministry of the word and the ministry of the spirit to engineer this transformation by turning the conditions in your life around and this by the grace of God will be faithfully done tonight yeah. are you ready please rise up on your feet just two prayer points and I'll begin to pray for you prayer point number one I'd like you to insist tonight please be intentional insist by way of prayer that these conditions the bible says that the things that are seen are temporal but the things that are unseen are eternal lift your voice and begin to pray the things that I see in a temporal, the sickness that I see is temporal, the oppression that I see is temporal. Is someone praying? Elamatoshi araba balagada vodo shekepa elamo sata de roshika ete brekete shebalado zaka Hallelujah Hallelujah The last prayer point Tonight it is I I began to sense this even before I left for the miracle service in Zaria Just help those under the anointing already I sense that tonight God is not only visiting individuals but God is extending it even to families I began to sense that right from Wednesday or so that you see there are some of our family members that may not have the faith or the discernment to receive but God is using you tonight as an altar not only to speak for yourself but to speak for families are you ready to pray now? Lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, not just me, but everyone connected to me. Please pray. Not just me. Is someone praying? Outside, pray. Online, pray. Jesus, the lifter. Jesus, the healer. Jesus, the restorer. Elamotaka de Proko Repeketepe Rokotopada 
Hallelujah. 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 The final thing I will tell you is please be sensitive to divine instructions. You see, under the influence of the Spirit, there are many things that don't make sense. But in the childlikeness of the gospel, Romans 15 and verse 19, let that be the last scripture. Let me show you something. Paul is speaking to the church in Rome, 15 and verse 19. It says, through mighty signs and wonders, and by the power of the Spirit of God, oh dear, it says that from Jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum, I have preached fully, preached the gospel of Christ. So the gospel is not fully preached until there are miracles, signs, and wonders. Right now, just before we pray, just stand still, everybody, where you are. No shouting, no nothing. I just want you to bring for me those who are under the anointing, whether inside or outside. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen. Sing Christ is risen from the dead. Because I, I just I began to see angelic activities just moving across inside and outside touching people and the lord is giving me an instruction just bring the people out some of you it's not just individuals god is touching families using individuals this is a miracle service now hold on please hold on please um the lord is opening my eyes and i'm seeing like fire i saw the number 43 and i'm seeing it come on people and the lord is telling me he's visiting foundations that's what i'm hearing Right now, I stretch my hands inside and outside. 43. In the name of Jesus. I don't know where they are, but I stretch my hands. Foundation. I've been visited by the Spirit of God. Negative foundation. Help them, please. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. Negative foundation. This is the place of encounter. Do to me what you want. Bring them out. This is the place of surrender Give me what you want. the word of god this is the place where your life is changed Give me what you want. hallelujah now the lord is showing me chains i always see this in the miracle services 
I'm seeing chains on the feet of people. And the Lord is just asking me to stretch my hands. And right now as I stretch my hands, every chain, chains of ancestry that has held anyone down, bring them out. I decree and declare right now, chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I place the word of God upon your life, upon your destiny. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Be the Lord is still breaking chains. Chains are responsible for circles of retrogression. Retrogression. Nothing moving in your life. There are still more people inside, outside, following online. Anyone whose life has been stagnated. In the name of Jesus, be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Atmosphere sheet now Chains be broken Break down Holy Spirit Who now Heaven's open Heaven's Hallelujah. open Who is Olua Kemi? Hold on please I'm hearing a name Kemi Olua Kemi we have to be very fast tonight. God is visiting people. I'm hearing a name, Olua Kemi. I don't know who that is. Who is that? What's your name? Akemi. What's your name? Olua Kemi. From where? From Oyo State. Oyo State. Where are you from? From Ogbomosho. Ogbomosho. Lift your hands and shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! That oppression leaves you now. Never to return to you. Help her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, hold on please. This woman, please come. Bring her. Just be careful with the people with the... My God, tonight is a night of divine supernatural visitations. Hallelujah. Now, please listen to me. Please listen to me. You see, the thing about the power of God is that he can step in in a moment. Moment. Who is Silas? I'm hearing Silas in my spirit. Silas. The Lord wants to break the yoke of retrogression and stagnation from that family. Silas. Please don't come out at random. Don't come out at random. We're organized people. This is a miracle service. Where are you from? Edo State. Huh? Edo State. The person I'm talking about must be from Edo State. Where are you from? Edo State. Where are you from? Give him the mic. Come. Where are you from? Edo State. Edo State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you, my friends. You believe in Jesus? Father, I'm praying for these people. All of these people... For that name, Olua Kemi. Two of you, the power of God is coming on you now. I'll pray for everybody, but two of you are just on fire. Two of you, right now, the supernatural power of God is coming on you. It's not something you can stand. This is the word of God. We're talking about the word of God here. Now, in the name of Jesus, every oppression over every Olua Kemi, help this woman so she doesn't fall on that bar, please. In the name of Jesus, madam, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus right now. I'm seeing light entering you. Let there be a, mi a miracle in your body right now. Now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm seeing the power of God come on someone. I'm not seeing the name but I'm seeing honorable there. I know this must be a politician. Right now as I'm speaking. A supernatural power of God. The Lord is saying he's breaking something connected to foundations. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead. 
according to the word of the Lord I decree and declare that everything connected to ancestry and even foundations please let them not just get up and move like that there is a reason why we ask them to come out it's not for show at all in the name of Jesus let there be deliverance right now let there be deliverance right now the Lord is ministering to me I'm seeing a family in total plus mother and father I'm seeing a family of seven you came here where are you come I'm seeing my left side the Lord is telling me that they are from my left side here just somewhere here is there a family like that please come a family of in total seven this is what the Lord is showing me do we have anyone like that please make sure they are correct don't we are not lying we are not faking it they came here let them come please break every chain break every chain break every chain I decree and declare over all of you here who have come out by the spirit every devil that will not let you go hear the word of the Lord I declare by the rod of a higher priesthood at the count of three release their destinies now one two three go go now wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name above every other name be delivered now be delivered now in the name of Jesus Christ please where is the family I spoke about just vet them let's be sure that there's a hallelujah seven father in the name of Jesus I pray for that family right now seven this is what I'm seeing I know what I'm seeing in my vision are they here let them stand here I will pray for everyone who has come but particularly family of seven where are they okay let me pray and then everyone who has come no problem you can join them father now out of her now help that woman out now in the name of Jesus release that family by the power of the Holy Spirit release them now in the name of Jesus someone remove the child if she's holding a child so please remove the child so she doesn't fall with the child we are here for you come and do what you do hallelujah where are you from sir we must, we must stay in Lagos. you stay where in Lagos. Sir. in Lagos. Lagos I want to pray for you these are all your children the family yes. father look at me I'm seeing your hands tied in the spirit and the Lord is saying to lose your hand this is another family that's all right I'll pray for them the one of your daughters is going to be used by God and the power of God is going to come on that person right now as I'm speaking father I don't know who that person is but in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God may that anointing that separates that consecrates and makes mighty may that grace rest on that one right now in the name of Jesus Christ and in the name of Jesus I cut you away from this delay in the name of Jesus Christ and for this other family that has come in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare madam where are you from this woman where are you from, from Kogi State, Kogi State. Yes, sir. I want to pray for you okay. say I shall not die I shall not die in Jesus name Jesus one more time say I shall not die I shall not die I decree and declare because I'm seeing a coffin in the realm of the spirit yes, you have been having dreams yes, is that true Yes, sir. and you see dead people in the dream yes sir. sometimes you even see that you are the one who died yes, in sir. the name of Jesus Christ the plague of death ends now and I use that as a point of contact over everyone here if there is anyone under the sound of my voice that death is looking for you or your loved ones shapakatos ketepata in the name of Jesus be delivered right now be delivered right now
be delivered right now help them please help the little one now every family here represented I stretch my hands and I declare go forward in Jesus name go forward in Jesus name go forward in Jesus name dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the face of development lord grant me the discipline 